everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe, smash that like, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. This is a new little video segment. I'm going to be posting uh, videos of me reacting to videos online. Uh, in today's reaction videos, I'm going to be reacting to an Instagram account that I've been following for quite some time, and that's uh, the Instagram account Karen's Gone Crazy. And if you guys don't know, Karen's and Kevin's throughout the world have been being filmed over the past year, uh, going crazy and telling people how to live their lives or being anti-maskers or doing other things that the average normal healthy brained person wouldn't do. Now, going forward, if you have a video you'd like me to react to, you can email me at jolenereacts at gmail.com. jolenereacts at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, which are in the bottom right corner of this video. Okay, so let's get started. So like I said, the account I've been following for quite some time is this Karen's Gone Crazy account. I highly recommend you go follow them um, because sometimes these videos can be pretty entertaining and sometimes they can really piss you off. It just depends on the video. So I'm kind of behind on my Karen's Gone Crazy video watches. So I'm just going to randomly pick one and see what happens and uh, react to it here with you. All right. So it looks like we have someone's dad driving next to the person recording it and he doesn't look happy. He looks like a pissed off dad. Maybe uh, he caught uh, his kid out and about. I don't know. Let's play it here. Okay, um, so this is clearly a Kevin, a Kevin driving in a car, he pulls up next to another car, I'm assuming just from what we've gotten from context from this video, and the car that's filming has their music turned up, which has been something that's been going on since the beginning of time, um, and this Kevin is clearly very upset because he wanted to listen to Journey or Styx or, or something from his high school years in the 80s, and now he has to listen to this boom boom and he's freaking out. <laughs> I'll never understand why people get this mad about music. Yes, yeah, sometimes it can be annoying when you hear other people's music very loud, but from what I heard, it sounded like this music he's complaining about was going to be better than any music this guy was going to pick. There's just some music that I think these Kevins have to understand sounds better loud. And as you get older, I think you get a little more sound sensitive and you get weird. But why would you... <laughs> want to react like this where he's like i don't know if he had a music induced seizure maybe he's mad because he actually likes this music so he's like damn you for making me like music outside of my high school years because i guarantee back in the day this dude was bumping some skid row you know he had motley crew he had the crew on uh <laughs> Maybe some Def Leppard. If it was pour some sugar on me, this guy would not be complaining. That's what I'm saying. But it wasn't. He was like, pour some sugar on me in the name of the... So the same people that complain about loud music or the lyrics to music, um, the lyrics to like Cardi B songs are the same people that during their days when they were young and not complaining and freaking out on video, they actually listened to songs that had sketchy lyrics as well. Because that's music. That's, you know art as a whole kind of pushes boundaries and 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 does that kind of thing <laughs> this guy's hilarious because he really thinks he's the smart one in this situation you know he uses the r word at this guy he gives him the finger like i really want to listen to your music dipshit you know uses the dipshit if someone is using dipshit at you he's a dad this most likely is a very pissed off divorced dad who has you know his couple payments behind in his child support this is all me speculating and so now he's just like Ugh. even his seat his seat kind of fell back <laughs> with them somebody did him wrong and he's projecting but to react this way is uh just pretty ridiculous <laughs> i mean his his freaking uh oakley's fell off his face he's very mad he even you know had to had to sit up straight and um yeah he's just you know taking a trip to costco and he has to listen to boom boom and uh now everyone is <laughs> going to pay so this kind of road rage is always funny to me because it's so ridiculous that you would take time out of your day to comment on the loudness of someone else's music. I think really, really, really loud motorcycles are far more annoying than people bumping music. And like I said, some music just sounds better 
when it's loud, Kevin. And Kevin, you're getting older and I get it. But the good thing with age is usually your hearing starts to go too. So maybe that'll help as this Kevin gets older. But he he's pissed off for other reasons, okay? He's got parking tickets he's ripped up in front of um, parking people before like, I'm not paying this. And they're like, sir, it's $25. This is the guy who's going in Sam's Club, Costco without a mask and going, you're infringing upon my rights. This is bullshit. I don't want to wear cloth on my face. This hurts. Why would you want to cover up this beautiful square jaw? Uh, it's more of a rounded, but he's, I mean, his glasses fell off. He was so mad, you guys. This is the kind of guy that chews gum like this. Like he's a college football coach. <laughs> Let's check out a, another video. Okay, so immediately I'm thinking this dude, we should check out, since we're sticking on Kevin's, let's keep checking out Kevin videos, because um, this guy looks not happy. And let's find out why he's not happy and see if we can solve the problem. Let's see if we have any context. So there's this guy gets mad and tries to spit on someone. So that is what Karen's Gone Crazy Instagram posts for context for this. Could this possibly be in Florida? I mean, we got flip flops. We got, you know, a brown T-shirt. It looks like he's by the water and he drives a truck. So I'm thinking Florida getting this mad and spitting. That seems like a Floridian thing. That's just me uh, judging. So let's see what happens. You're just a kid. If you weren't a kid, you know what? I'm going to knock that phone out of your hand. Are you mad? Your daddy didn't win. Are you mad? Oh, just sit back and relax, you dumbass. Bye. Sit back and relax. I am, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. I wish you were 18. I'd fucking remove oh, I your am, hand. bitch. I am touch 19, me. bitch. Touch me. Touch no, me. sweetheart. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it, Fucking baby. touch me. You're not worth it, baby. Touch me. Touch me. I well, clearly he wants someone to touch him. He is lonely, I think. I think he hasn't had a date in a while. I mean, who would, wouldn't date a face like that? Um, just off the bat here, he's saying, <laughs> if you were 18, first of all, don't harass children. Um, it looks like he's going to camp out and wait for this person to be 18 years old. And it sounds as though the person might be a teenage girl. Now, I don't know. I can't tell just on uh, voice alone, but this Kevin is real, real mad. Touch me. Touch me. It's like, bro, get on Hinge, get on Tinder, get on, you know, elderlyfolks.com to date. But just yelling for a child to touch you gives a serious Jeffrey Epstein vibes. Like it's not, it's not a good look. And then when he stopped and he approached them, he's like, Ugh! and his voice kind of broke like he was going through puberty. So you can tell this is a guy who's not normally someone that's really tough. He's not a normal tough guy. He, he's putting a lot of bravado out there. He's got to fake the funk a lot because your voice doesn't crack like that when you're down to throw down. You know what I mean? And then I love the person filming this, how they said, you mad that your daddy lost. And clearly that triggered him. This triggered that Kevin because Kevin got even more upset. I would assume the person was referring to Daddy Trump. And again, I did speculate that I thought this was in Florida. So this seems like a real Floridian thing to do coming out of your truck in flip flops in a T-shirt that loosely matches your cargo brown khaki shorts. You know, if you look behind you, you have this beautiful sky, you have the sea, but you're choosing to get mad at at what um a teenager and then you're like touch me touch me which is very problematic so let's keep watching i dare you i'll remove your Look fucking head you know that. what you're in my face Ooh, I saw a little bit of like white stuff, which means this Kevin is most likely dehydrated, you know, in more ways than one, figuratively and literally. He had a little bit of that schmutzies in the corner of his mouth. So Kevin needs to hit up a, a drinking fountain soon. Some water would help. You're in my fucking face. You yeah. better back off. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Look at this little dyke. Oh, no, Kevin. Kevin, that's, you know... For some reason, these type of Kevins always have to go there. You know, if they don't agree with a woman, they immediately have to put them in, uh, you know, uh, use some kind of homophobic comment. You know, it's kind of like the guy that hits on the girl and she's like, thank you, I'm not interested. He's like, you're probably a lesbian anyway. She's like, why? Why am I a lesbian just because I don't find you attractive? You know, if you do a survey, most women wouldn't find you attractive. That doesn't mean they're lesbians. That just means you're not that attractive. You're not my type, sir. The he's not that, just not that into you. We got it. Now we need a she's just not that into you if that hasn't been written yet. Or I might write it. So don't steal that. 
Oh, I get more pussy than you, motherfucker. <laughs> I get so much more pussy than you. You know what? You probably do. Put your yeah. fucking hand on me. Did I? Put your fucking hand on me. She is so yeah. horny. Have another one. <laughs> Are you mad? I'm worried at this point he's gonna eat her. Like, literally eat her. Because he's making these noises as though he hasn't been fed in a while. You know, he's like, mm, mm, mm. put your hand on me. Mm. Let's see. Let's see your play real quick. Yes, okay. get yep. it. Get behind it. Please, get behind it. Oh, we're gonna run her over? Ooh, big tough guy in the tundra. Oh, he has a flat. Oh, see? First mistake. A double flag on the back. One flag is enough, but the double flag means you have something to prove. And that that means you're sketchy. Okay. So for future Kevins and Karen's out there, one flag will suffice. We get it. We get you mean business with the one flag, but a two flag automobile, especially on a Toyota Tundra like that. Look at this guy. He just, <laughs> he thinks what he's doing is is tough. He's like, go to my big truck with my flip flops. Also, you're driving a truck with flip flops. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. You want to have, you know, closed toe shoes. You, you never know. It could get stuck. You could fall into the ocean. Uh, God willing. <laughs> Did he? Well, that wasn't that wasn't a spit, sir. What, he went. Pfft. That's what you like do to babies. Like, baby, you're so cute. <laughs> but, <laughs> Did he try to spit? And he, oh, this Kevin, this Kevin. I mean, this harkens back to his youth. You know, when all the cool guys were like spitting and doing stuff, Kevin's like, can I join you? And they're like, that's not a spit, Kevin. You just drooled on yourself. Wow. This is a early childhood trauma coming forward, I think. Bye, baby. You know what you need? You need to be removed from the gene pool. Okay. I got to get that spit back. Okay. So he backs up. Double flag. Is it a double flag? Or is it a... Oh, God. We got to hear that again. That's that's the most pathetic spit I've ever heard. I mean, and I hate spitting. I hate it. I'm not a fan. Never have been. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on the circumstance, but. Hi, baby. You know what you need? <laughs> you need to be removed from the gene pool because you're too fucking stupid to be alive. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, you have yeah. no hair, sweetie. <laughs> oh, baby. Touch me. Fucking touch me. No. Fucking touch me. Fucking touch me. Kevin, but you don't have any hair. She was just stating a fact. That wasn't even a rip. That wasn't even a roast. That wasn't a drag. That wasn't anything. It was just like, and you have no hair, sweetie. And he was like, oh. he, you could see in his head. He he so wanted to come back with something clever. He did, you know. She should be removed from the gene pool. Yet this guy can't think of a comeback to you have no hair. But he did say touch me. So this, maybe he wants her to touch his head. A lot of bald guys with no boundaries say those kind of things to women they don't know. Touch me. Fucking touch me. Oh, gosh. Touch me. Mm. Come on. No. Come on, hard ass. Get that phone out of my fucking face. Just I'm get your... this close. Hard. I'm about this get back fucking in your close. Truck, bitch. I'm get about back this close. Truck. How old are you? <laughs> 90. You shut up. Shut up. So we, oh no, not an old Karen shows up in her I Love Florida t-shirt. Oh no, no, you shut up. This guy is so, and this woman is so triggered by this one person simply existing with their phone. It's crazy. Out of this fucking truck. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> oh no, he's going to film her. You're just a kid. If you weren't a kid. Okay, so that was the end of that. Uh, she said, bye, baby. And then he did that classic kind of Kevin, Karen move where 90 minutes into the filming of them, they're like, well, okay, I'll pull out my phone. I don't have my phone by me, but this is a calculator, which looks like their phone's like, okay. And then it takes them 17 minutes to figure out where's the camera function. I'm going to call my granddaughter. Hello? Um, oh, shit. I can't. Can you read? Does this say Sophie? That's my granddaughter. Okay. Sophie. Yeah. Uh, I got someone here and I need a filmer. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm filming you. No, no. Wh where do I point it at? It's just, it's a hot mess. They always do this. They pull out their camera way too late and then they're holding it like this and they're like, I'm filming you too. And it's like, it's too late. We already got you acting totally irrational and ridiculous, threatening what you thought was someone who is not an adult legally, not 18 years old, and then you threw a homophobic slur, you attempted a spit that was very pathetic, Kevin. You got out of your car multiple times. You could have just kept driving. I mean, sticks and stones, sir. And then you had, you know, an elderly Karen pull up in, in her Florida wear and just be like, 
hey, you shut up, because that always helps the situation. If you don't know what's going on and you just roll up and you go, you shut up, that always alleviates um, <laughs> anger. <laughs> this was very fun, you guys. So let me know below what you think of these two Kevin videos that we commented on today from Karen's Gone Crazy on Instagram. Make sure you give them a follow. Give this video a like, share it out. And if you have videos you want me to react to, please email me. You can email me at jolenereacts at gmail.com. I'll be back very soon with another reaction video to maybe another Kevin Karen. Maybe we should do Karen's next time. But you guys are wonderful. Have a great rest of your day and uh, don't spit on people. Okay. Let's just, that's, we shouldn't have to say that, but don't, don't spit on people and don't be homophobic. Bye. This ain't